Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am going to show the impact of selecting multiple routes on product. Can you see on my screen I have selected multiple routes, but in what situation it will work, you know. So simple use case which I would like to tell you is about a business scenario. This can be, you know, used in multiple scenario, but the scenario, the business case, which I would like to explore is you have some stock on hand and the customer is asking to replenish much more item, much more quantity, which you don't have in stock. But yeah, you do have plan something, you know, where some products you have on stock, some products you can replenish an order based on manufacturing and some you can even you know drop ship as well as some you can buy and on this you know route when i would like to explore on inventory these routes buy route i have enable sale order line then on replenish order i have enable sale order online then manufacture also and then drop ship also okay so these all route are enable on sale order line now let's say i am uh, i wish to fulfill an order where i am keeping my item one where i am keeping 10 let's say 20. so it will always say green why because this product in replenish on demand but if i want to say 10 okay and i am not selecting any route Again, I am repeating the item and then with buy route with another 10 units or let's say 20 units and then for rest, I am keeping manufacture where I would like to manufacture 50 units and then I would also like to fulfill with dropship by 50 units. This lead time, let's say it's five days. For this buy lead time, it's 20 days. Then for manufacture, I will require 20 days. For this fulfillment, I will require 20 days for dropship. So you can see now, uh, dropship, we can directly uh, send the product from our vendor to customer. And this 10, I am, you know, fulfilling from my warehouse and for this, 20 units I am buying and then selling and then 50 units I am manufacturing at my facility center. As soon as I confirm, now you can see it will create one delivery, two purchase order and one manufacturing order. Why? So let's see that in delivery, you will see 10, 20 and 50, which are coming from my warehouse, 10, 20 and 50. Okay. And then 50 directly goes to customer from vendor. So I can see two PO respectively one is receiving to my warehouse to 20 units i confirm it and i am expecting some units at my warehouse and for rest 20 50 units i am drop shipping to my customers so as soon as i confirm it will deliver and create a drop ship item so now you can see one delivery one drop ship and two purchase orders are created and then it is also confirmed and then another 50 units I am manufacturing. So this 50 unit I am confirming and then just producing it. So it is going to manufacture at my warehouse facility. And now you can see all these things are available and this is marked as red because I have created dropship and I'm just validating it. So this dropship is considered as delivered and it is marked delivered. Now rest of the delivery I will do from my warehouse where 10 units which is available in house 20 I purchase and replenish and then 50 I produce and replenish and then I just validate so it is saying back order why because this 10 20 units it's not still in my position so let's see where it is so in my purchase order if I'm going to PO oh I haven't received this 20 units. so let me receive that first so it's done and then now everything is ready so in my delivery i can see 10 and then 20 so let me see why it is not reserved yet so manufacturing is also done dropship is also done okay and i am again into my delivery and i am making 
we film it for 20 units it stays available okay and then i validate it and then my order is getting fulfilled okay so now on my purchase order i can see the confirmation date but expected arrival was 23 uh, March because of 20 days of lead time then for another PO it is you know 13.3 which is again you know uh, for drop shipping we have 10 days of lead time so if I you can see 10 days of lead time for drop ship 20 days of lead time for purchase so accordingly Odoo is a very smart system which has uh, scheduled all the purchase and delivery accordingly and for manufacturer also if I go okay the start date was 23.3 normally which is again you know uh, coming from lead time it is totally 20 days of lead time okay so expected was uh, something else but yeah if i go to manufacture i would have find that so here this so 21 should start in 20 days because i don't have any manufacturing lead time but i want this after 20 days so it should start after 20 days okay so expected task start date was 23 march and today is 3rd march hope uh, this will helpful to many traders many business people who wish to you know uh, deliver uh, same item from multiple uh, you know facility or multiple route by manufacturer or by drop ship or by purchase and then sharing sending some from the in-house facility and fully filling entire order to customer uh, via this way Hope this will help. Thank you very much.